Atrial fibrillation is a very common rhythm and what happens is the atrium stops contracting and so you can form a clot there and, ca and it causes stroke. 20% of strokes are from atrial fibrillation. The left atrial appendage is a normal structure off the heart and everyone has them. We don't really understand what purpose it serves, but we do understand that it probably about 90% of strokes in atrial fibrillation come from the left atrial appendage. So if we could exclude that from the circulation, it may, will hopefully prevent strokes. Historically, we've treated people with blood thinners called Coumadin or other drugs, and about 10% of those patients can't take it because they have bleeding problems. There is a new device that we can use, a non-pharmacologic device. It's called a Watchman device that we can place into the heart, into a certain part of the atrium that will hopefully prevent a clot from forming and a stroke from atrial fibrillation. There's no cutting, there's not a, it's a non-surgical procedure. It goes up a catheter in the right femoral vein, and then we direct it up to the heart. We have to go from the right atrium to the left atrium, and then the left atrial appendage is off of this, and then we go in with a wire into the appendage, put the device in, and it closes that appendage off to the circulation. After about 45 days, the, it, we call endothelialization, where cells grow over it, so it's sort of just incorporated into the heart. So we don't think there's going to be late strokes from it. We don't think it's going to break loose and embolize throughout the body. It seems to be pretty safe long term. I believe it should be in those people at high risk of stroke who have some intolerances to blood thinning. The University of Rochester has always been on the cutting edge of sort of new technology and has always been sort of up to date. And this is another procedure that uh, we're pretty excited about.